Hi, it's Professor Murray. Today I'm going to do some online edits with my Slick 500. If you look at my screen here, I've got just a very simple program. I've got two inputs and I've got two outputs. And those are running on my trainer here. So just a couple of buttons and lights that work. I'm going to do an online edit. So this time I'm not going to go offline to do my edit. I'm going to do it while I'm online. To do that, I'm going to change the second run. First, double click on the rung, and you notice it makes a duplicate copy of that rung. And now I'm going to make a change. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll add a second light. So I'll put another output, and that's going to be O colon 2 slash and I'm going to use this wire number 7. Done my edit. Now the first thing I have to do is right click and I need to accept my edit. And it's got errors. Oh, obviously I'm putting two outputs on one rung, which you can't do. So what I'm going to do is I'll put a branch over here and I'll see if I can put a I'll put down there. And I think this is going to work. So my output is O colon 2 slash 7. And hopefully that's happy. So now I'm going to accept my edits. And it accepted. Let's see what's happening here. So I'm turning on my one light. But I'm not turning on the second light yet. To do that, I have to right click again. And I need to test my edits. Let's try it now. So now it's doing what I want it to do. And this duplicate rung is still here. To get rid of that, I need to right click again and I need to assemble my edits. Okay, now it's assembled and my logic has been changed. So there's several steps you have to do. First you right you first you double click on the rung, you make your edits, then you you accept your edits, then you test your edits and then you, as the, you assemble your edits. It's a little uh, little bit, uh, what's the word? It's a little bit tedious, I guess is the right word. So you can do, I'm going to cancel that. You can do online edits, but it takes several steps to get it done. The other thing is, if I want to edit both of these two rungs, then I have to do all those steps for each one. And it just gets a, a little bit uh, tedious is the word. The other thing that can happen is if you start doing an edit and then you go offline no oh, it's it actually cancelled my edits because I didn't do anything but if you start an online edit and then go offline partway through your edits it can get uh, kind of cluttered to the point that sometimes it's best just to delete that partly edited rung and replace it with a, a duplicate. Okay, so that's online edits. You can do them. Some people prefer it that way. Some people prefer to just go offline, make your changes, and go back online again. It's kind of up to you. All right, have a good day. Thanks.